Hey everybody, good evening. It's Lisa and it is February, February 12th and I am coming on. I'm going to give y'all an update on how I'm doing and what's going on with me. And I have my Ipsy bag for February. Um, let's go, I guess we'll do the update first because y'all probably more interested in how I'm doing than this Ipsy bag. I'm doing okay. I am feeling better. As you can tell, I probably look a little bit better too. Um, I'm not 100% yet, no. Um, I still have headaches. Um, still kind of dizzy. Um, I am driving now, so that's good. I am getting my car and drive. Um, I do have, um, I had an appointment just this week, the 10th. The 10th, I was supposed to go to Virginia Hospital for blood work and a COVID test. And then the 11th, I was supposed to go up to get the lumbar puncture, which that is, they need to get spinal fluid to see um, if it's draining properly or something um, to see what's going on with my head uh, to see if the fluid is draining like it's supposed to or some stuff so I was not able to get that done I had to call and cancel it because of the weather um it was supposed to get snow that day we didn't get it till later that night um but they were calling for snow all day so I went ahead and canceled it I didn't want to you know be driving up to Virginia and snow um and then we didn't get it till that night yeah it's weird tomorrow we are supposed to be getting ice like I said today is February 12th uh, tomorrow is the 13th, it's Saturday, and we're supposed to get ice. We did get snow um, Thursday night into Friday. Yeah, it snowed Thursday night. Woke up to snow about four inches. Um, it's not bad, but we did get a lot of snow. And let me see, um, I had to switch companies for my husband's uh, care services, his uh, caregivers who's supposed to be coming out. To take care of him, I was doing uh, step by step. Was with them for several months. Um, I finally had to go to another company because they were very unreliable. Every time I turn around, they didn't have help. Um, I'm supposed to be taking it easy. Uh, I'm not supposed to be doing no heavy lifting with him. Um, basically, not really taking care of him. I'm supposed to have somebody come and take care of him. Like, get him in bed, you know, get him out of bed, and, you know, bathe him, dress him, get him out of bed, feed him, do everything they need to do. I am not supposed to do nothing for two months. Well, that didn't work out. Um, his daughters were able to be with him when I had the surgery done. I, I might have said that in that, that one video. And they've been helping out. Um, but not right now. I mean, they can't really do much right now. I did get the extra hours where I get 84 hours a week now instead of 53. I have somebody who comes out for 12 hours a day to take care of him. Take care of everything he needs. So I'm not doing it. Um, but I had to get a new company. I had an issue with the one I was with step by step. Just not having enough help. Every time I turn around they didn't have anybody to come out because they didn't have any help. Um, I came home the 12th. I think I had to watch him that weekend or something. Or a couple of days. And then I know there was a weekend that they didn't have anybody. It was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that would have been my weekend off if I worked. Um, and then I got the hours. I got the extra hours. And she said, since January schedule is already made up, you just wanted to leave it the way it is. And I'm like, no, you need to find somebody to come in and work that weekend. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I am supposed to be taking it easy. Well, she was supposed to get somebody to come in Saturday. They didn't show up. Turned out she was sick. They had a girl that I had there one time before that I didn't want back in my house because she stole from me. And it wasn't like anything serious, but she still stole. Um, I didn't have any choice. It, she was the only one that was somewhat available. They didn't have anybody else on call. She was on call. 
so she had to come and she goes the girl said the lady said i know you don't want her back in your house because of what happened i said well i really don't have much of a choice do i it's either her or nobody and i said we shouldn't have any problem because i am here she was only here until 2 30. um and it turned out she did steal from me again okay i wasn't going to say anything because i thought it was just going to be a one-time thing well they the company called me around 6 30 that night to let me know that the girl who was supposed to be coming in sunday is not coming in and they were going to get the one that was there today to come back and work sunday and i'm like no i don't want her in my house because she did it again i don't want somebody in my house that's going to be stealing from me and then it turns out that they couldn't get anybody else to come in and then they couldn't get anybody still from who was supposed to come in monday so i basically took care of him the whole weekend and at that point i was mad because i've been doing this taking care of him and been putting up with them not having the proper help or having help for a while so i went to another company i called his like planner provider that she takes care of stuff like this i called her and let her know what was going on but she had no idea it turned out that we had on his plan an emergency company if they're the company that i was with doesn't have help proper help to bring somebody in to take care of him i had another company on his plan for emergencies all they had to do was call her to let her know and she could have called the other company he got an emergency person in here to help, which I didn't know about it. And I talked to her and I said, did they know? And she goes, it was on the plan that I gave them, Lisa. So they should have known if they've read it. It's on there. So luckily I had this other company. I have them now. I'm still not sure about them yet. Um, I've been home. The girl that has been coming... She's mostly on her phone, her laptop, or whatever. I feel that she should be doing more for my husband. Um, he's okay with her, but we'll see. We'll just wait and see. They, then they have a guy who's coming out for three days, and he does not want this guy to come out anymore. So I need, you heard that, that was his phone. I need to get a hold of him, hold of them, the company, to let them know that they need to get somebody else because my husband does not want the guy to come out. And he said that he didn't want a guy caregiver. So I need to talk to him about that. But other than that, we're doing okay. I did reschedule my appointment for this Thursday, the 18th, to get that spinal thing done. They are calling for snow again that day, so we'll see what's happened. I got to get it done, because it's getting to the time where I'm going to be going back to work next month. Um, around the 8th or the 10th of next month I should be able to go back to work so anyway let y'all know what's going on with me everything is good this is probably going to be the last ipsy bag that I receive um, this is the valentine's ones I get it out it's a cute little bag it's like an envelope <coughs> really cute I like this sealed with a kiss so it kind of reminds me of a little envelope. And I think that's how they want it. Excuse me, let me get something to drink. I've been noticing I've been coughing a little bit, having a little, you know, a little tickle in my throat. That's sick. You know, I don't have that. I still have taste and everything, no temperature. I think it just has to do with the drainage um, that's going on in my head. I think that might be the problem, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I have to wait until my tests. And then we'll find out from there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. I have some kind of, a, um, I think it's a finishing powder. Like, uh, I haven't been wearing makeup in I don't know how long. It says True Transparent. I don't know the name of this company. So I'm going to hold it up. And it's just a, like a finishing powder. I'm just going to open it, guys, because I am... I'm not wearing makeup. I don't remember the last time I put makeup on. Uh, this might be something I would probably be definitely interested in. It's some kind of eye cream. Um, so I have some eye cream to use. 
I'll have to let you know when I decide to use it how it is. This is what I picked out, and this was from um, Benefit, the 24 hour brow setter. It is clear, it's a mini, and it's for your brows. So I got that, put that away until I want to put on some makeup. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, that's why I said there's no point in me getting this bag anymore. Because I'm not using these stuff. I'm not using it. This is... I'm not, I can't even hardly see that. Wonder? Is that Wonder? I think it's a Wonder. I think it's a Toner. Let me pull the card out. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I can find it. Yeah, it's a Toner. It's a Black Rice Hydrating Toner. But, mm -hmm, I guess it is the same. Yeah, it's a toner. So that's another one I have. As I really don't really use it. And then we have a, what is this? Is it a lotion? It is whatever they call this. It is a hydrating cream. Another one. As I just, I don't use this stuff anymore. And it is sealed, so that's good. So I can put this stuff away until I get a chance to use it one day. <laughs> I know. Boy, am I tired. It's, it's been a long day. I didn't know the dump was closed today because the government closed because of the rain I mean the, the snow we got so I'm taking the trash away and it's closed so I have to bring the trash back but it's all right I'll get it in the next couple of days all right so that's my cute little bag you see this cute I do like the bag uh, but everything else is good guys I'm feeling good I'm getting better it's just taking its time I do notice that my glands right here are hurting, especially this side where I had the surgery. Um, I notice I haven't had this for a long time, and now I have it again. You know how when you don't eat, and when you first eat something, my jaw would hurt? Yeah, that's back. So I've noticed that's come back. So I don't know what's going on with, this, with my head. Um, I don't know. If that was some of the problems that I had before because I didn't have it for a while like it stopped because I used to have it and now it's back so that's something I have to tell my doctor when I go back to see him I was uh, need to go see him soon I was supposed to go back and see him a month after my surgery and it is a month after my surgery but I have to wait to get this test done first before I go back to see him so that is that's it for me guys I'm just I was checking the date Give me a sec. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired. What time is it? It's only 8.30 and it feels like it's so much later than that and I'm just so tired. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go. That's my Ipsy bag for February. And like I said, I'm not really doing the reviews of the previous months because I haven't been using the products. And I haven't been, I didn't use anything in last month's bag. And I'm probably not going to use anything in this month's bag neither. All right, but I think this is my last bag. I think I have to renew my prescription, and I don't want to renew it because I don't want to. I don't want it anymore. All right, I am going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, Y'all have a very nice night and have a great weekend. I'm letting y'all know I'm still going strong. <laughs> you know, doing the best I can. And sorry if you see some redness, like right here. This is a. A blackhead that I'm having trouble extracting yeah that's why it's a little red because I was trying to get it out today and it didn't work but I know that's too much information right all right let me go ahead and go have a nice weekend guys and I will get this video up as soon as I can all right bye for now